because, you know, you get per capita money, just because, you know, some tribes get oil money or so forth and get, you know, it doesn't mean don't go to college. It means figure out how to protect your own assets and how to look out and take care of your own people. For the 10th annual Dream the Impossible uh, Youth Conference, and it was just bringing something to Southern California. There really hadn't been any youth conferences here. To me, it's what's special is it is a collaboration of many tribes uh, coming together for the kids. The kids pick the topics, they pick the speakers, they select the conference uh, color T-shirts, what kind of food we're going to be served. But they'll be given a list of you know five universities. They select the university. And, so kind of, it's, it's, we really try to give them an opportunity to have a hand in planning, you know, what they want to do for that day. There's rites of passage from the moment you're born. In our tribe, your first rite of passage is getting your Indian name. That transfer rite gives you the spiritual health that you will, and the spiritual integrity that you will need for the rest of your life, regardless of what you go through. So when you, when you meet hard times, when you meet, you know, it's those, those times in our life, there'll be times when you, they call it when you drop to your knees. When you fall down and you drop to your knees. That's when you fall upon, you know, your Indian and the spirits, and that's why it's important. I'm saying that the Lakota people say is, and it basically means pursue the good in these times, you know, so even though you have all of this weight on your shoulder, even though you have all of these negative things happening, you know, it's making you stronger and you just have to find the good in it and you have to realize that, hey, like, this is only bettering me and something good is going to come of it. Whether we see it today, in a few years, in a few months, in a few weeks, just like something, everything happens for a reason. It's going to lead you to where you need to be in life. And you just need to learn to have that, that resilience to keep on fighting. You literally have to be a fighter if you want to succeed. So when you're thrown, you know, a punch out of nowhere, how are you going to, you know, take that and how are you going to run with it in your, in your life in general? Fail forward. Uh, life is not going to be easy, but take whatever that dream is of yours. Know that, that there's going to be challenges throughout that journey and really embrace those things and take them as a lesson to become the person that you want to be in your life. All of these kids are going to help you. You know, you're all family, you're all together. You all need to figure out how to run our reservations, our tribal governments and how to keep your children going to college to take care of our people because that's what you guys are, you're the future. You know, to see those kids and, you know, five years later, here, you know, she's going to be graduating and she's moving on to college. I mean, that's what it's about. It's trying to just give them that, that glimpse of hope and have them understand that there's many opportunities out there not to limit themselves. Well,